For those of you who have been watching my channel, you have known that Parts Express sent me a package full of goodies, and if not, go ahead and check out that video. It's pretty cool what they sent. Now, one of the things that they sent for me to play with is this GRS 10SW-4. It's a 10-inch 4-ohm subwoofer, and really looking at it, you wouldn't think much of it. In fact, it's only a $20 subwoofer, so it's a very budget-friendly subwoofer. And the thing that surprised me about this when I went ahead and modeled this is that this supposedly, according to the manufacturer specs, can get you close to 20 hertz in the right size box with the right size port. Now, I'm not sure that I quite believe that. So I went ahead and broke this subwoofer in. And if you missed that video, check it out. I went ahead and saw if you actually needed to break in a subwoofer and I tested that theory out and I came up to a conclusion on whether or not you actually needed to do that. But once I broke this in, I went ahead and took the TS specs again and I was shocked to see that it once again modeled to be close to coming out to 20 hertz. So now, what do we do with that information? Well, I could just tell you that I could do 20 hertz or we could test the theory out by building a test box and finding out if this $20 subwoofer really can do 20 hertz. And the build is on. Alright guys, the box is built. Now, let's check out the results. We just gotta hook up the UMIC-1, seal a few holes on the box, and run the test. Okay guys, here's the results. I'm actually really shocked. We actually did tune it to about 20 hertz, as you can tell, and we got 20 hertz out of this subwoofer. I mean, that is just unreal. Now, I am very shocked. I didn't expect it to happen at all. I really didn't trust the data. Now, there's a couple issues with this data, and let me kind of walk you through this, especially if you're not familiar with Roo. One of the things that you'll notice is, although we got the 20 hertz, um, we're down over 20 decibels. We're down about 25 decibels or so, and um, that's problematic. What that means with, by that is that you're gonna need some type of EQ to get this, uh, to get a flat response. Now, that's okay, most people need EQ anyway because of your room. Now, there's another issue. You may have noticed that I haven't actually shown you the completed box yet. Well, there's a reason for that. Let me show you. This thing is huge. Um, in fact, it's, it's really big. Uh, and that's the reason why I didn't actually show it to you in the beginning because in order to get 20 Hertz you need a substantial box however if you're running like an acoustically transparent screen for example and you have a bunch of space so you have a falls wall and a bunch of space back there this could be one of the better budget setups out there just stick with me for a minute you could run four of these and across your entire wall and it, now it would take probably a, most of the wall up but you could run four of these tune it to 20 Hertz and you would only need something like the SPA 500 or the SPA 250 now that brings me to the final issue with this uh, let's show you WinISD 
here and you see this win ISD graph the it says that we're gonna hit you know problems after we go past 50 watts now I ran it past 50 watts without any type of cone excursion issues so it's possible that you may not have those issues as well uh, to be on the safe side you probably don't want to run a lot more than 50 watts although if you were really really feeling like you could do the full 100 and you're not afraid of it all right go ahead and hook up the full 100 to it and uh and go and that's when you'd use spa 500 but if you used spa 250 for these you're looking at 200 dollars plus the cost of wood i mean that's that's unreal i mean that, that's a great price for especially 20 hours especially in your movie theater all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Tell me what you think about this subwoofer combo in the link below, and uh, I'd like to hear from you guys. Counting double-digit